This is my third PCB motor version. And today I'm going to tell you why it's much better than my older design. So let's start with the major change. The rotor is no longer 3D printed. Why? Well, there's a specific reason why motors like this one are not made from plastic. They get hot. And when plastic gets hot, it deforms. Apart from this, my 3D printed rotors are under 16mm in diameter, which means that they are also bendy. So, going to aluminium rotor is a necessity. And as you might know, last year I won this milling machine over here. So I decided to use it to manufacture the part. The second major change that I made to this rotor is increase its thickness. Having a slim design like this one, it's nice, but I also need more torque. And to do that, I had to choose between two options. Either add a core inside the PCB coil, which will further increase the size of the motor, or use magnets with stronger magnetic field. And ta-da, that's what I did. These magnets are also rated M52, but they have a larger pulling force. And they are also rated at the highest temperature rating that I could find, which is 8 degrees Celsius. This is something that I think I missed for my previous designs because I never actually considered the temperature rating of the magnets uh, which now I think is very important because if you heat them up their magnetic field will deteriorate Another deterioration feature of my old design were the stainless steel bearings I have now upgraded to ceramic hybrid bearings which are supposed to last longer and they are also rated at 85,000 RPM Yes, they are expensive now let's talk about this beautiful PCB. I got it made at PCB Way. That's so beautiful. So on this panel I actually have two designs. Um, the delta configuration and the star. This configuration is the same as what I have in my other PCB motor prototypes. One improvement that this 4 layer PCB has when compared to my previous design is the layer height. In total it is just 0.6mm thick. So now this should improve the coupling of the coil. The phase resistance got a little smaller than my 20 ohm target. So this means that more current is passing through the windings, heating up the motor more. But with the benefit of increasing the torque. Now before we go through all the specs of this motor, we need to talk about two more components so that you can see how easy it is to assemble it. This is how this motor is going to work. So basically here we have the rotor, magnets, this is the PCB and the bearing. Now obviously we need a shaft to connect the rotor with the PCB and we also need a spacer here. So this is going to be very similar to my 6 layer PCB motor but mechanically it's going to be more robust because this was missing the spacer um, between the bearing and the PCB and it also did not have any extra material over here. For this new version I researched a lot and with a little bit of luck I managed to find both a shaft and a washer from Digikey. In reality I bought three shafts. One of them was 0.0066mm to thick and I thought that it would still fit but it didn't. Another one was a little bit loose, but the third one was just perfect. And this is the washer I used, it is just 0.5mm thick. So these are all the components I used to make this PCB motor. And this, this is how I built it. Okay, so here I have the old software running and with it I managed to measure a maximum unloaded speed of around 23,000 RPM. But take a look at this. The motor is actually generating back EMF on the undriven phase signal. This means that there is a slight possibility of eliminating this whole effect sensor. And instead we can go for a fully sensorless brushless motor speed controller. 
the static torque of the motor also improved to 2.3 gram centimeter. This probably because of the larger magnets and that more current is being passed through the coils. But like I said, this current is making the motor get hotter. So ideally we would have at least two more turns or drive it with less voltage. Now these specs are for the star configuration. I also have the delta. The delta has all the faces connected in parallel. So I got a smaller face resistance of 3.5 ohms. Which worked, but it drew a lot more current and it got even hotter. In fact, during the temperature test, the motor stopped spinning after 10 minutes. I think this happened because the magnets lost their magnetic strength with temperature and got permanently damaged. So the delta configuration needs a larger phase resistance to be feasible. But overall, I'm quite happy with the results of the star configuration. We improved the torque, we improved the speed, we generated back EMF, and I also have an application in mind for it, which was sort of a fail for the old version. And no, it's still not good enough for the PCB drone idea. If you're curious how I designed this PCB, make sure you check out the video I posted a few weeks ago, and subscribe so you don't miss future projects. Bye! PCB wheel